Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Luke and this is Twin Sauce. And today I'm going to be competing in my first ever throwdown. As some of you know, I work as a barista in Kansas City. And today we're actually at the place I work, which is Split Leg Coffee Company. Um, we're at a different location than I usually work at, but this is still the same company. And we're at the Pendleton Heights location for a throwdown. And the throwdown is virtually just a competition for baristas to show off their latte art skills. And like the judges, we have three really cool judges. Today we have Melinda, who's actually a coworker of mine, and then Giselle, who's a world, or who has competed in the SCA's uh, barista competition and is also competing this year, as well as Jerry Ponzer, um, who is also competing this year so we're very very excited to have them as our judges that was also intimidating but very exciting they even did like a presentation beforehand about um the actual competition and if you know like if people were interested if they'd wanted to do it so encouraging people to take part so that was really really cool to get to like see them and, and hear from them at this time now this event was very exciting there were so many people there that i knew because this was my home shop so there was regulars that came out for it there was all obviously all my co-workers were there so that was a lot of fun and it was fun to have that kind of an open like really encouraging um environment to get started um with this being my first ever and i've been in the industry a year but i've kind of avoided these because of the pressure <laughs> and there was pressure i did not expect there to be this as much pressure as there was from myself on myself that was something that was that was hard but even in the first round i was nervous i was like trying to do all the things that Simeon told me to do to like relax and it was still very very difficult to like focus and to like know oh, you know like keeping my my elbow straight things like that but my first round went really well i didn't know the girl that i was competing against which was actually kind of nice um, i was able to just focus on me and just do what i'm doing which is what you should do all the time but um yeah as you'll see it later it was a little harder to do that later but um i focused on me and i did really really solid pour but now i have to do it again <laughs> very symmetrical we had i had really good foam that time my foam quality was excellent i had good symmetry in the cup difficulty level was fairly low but that didn't really matter i just had to do it um in a sense better than the person next to me and she was doing an easy four too so that wasn't really something that we were worried about it was just more the the actual um final pours were up against each other and i ended up winning that round that was exciting that was my goal was to make it past the first round so then i go to the second round which is just the next level of pressure um, luckily, this second round, I actually went up against my good friend, Yoslin, who's one of my coworkers, which was really, really exciting for me to go up against a friend, but also like sad because one of us was going to move on and one of us was not. And so I wanted her to move on, but I also wanted to move on. So that was like a kind of a conflict of interest kind of. And that pour wasn't as good. My contrast wasn't nearly what it needed to be. My phone quality really, and that was where it came down to. My phone quality really just suffered. And it was a machine I wasn't really used to. That's an excuse, but it, it really was. That was a huge issue was me just getting used to the machine. I don't know how my first milk did so well in comparison, but whatever. So that one, I still ended up beating Yoslin, which was heartbreaking to me at, at some points and then also exciting in others. So Yoslin, well, well done. You killed it. I hope you beat me in the future. Um, so anyway, second round, I went on to the third round. Now the third round was actually seven people. We had six minutes to pour as many lattes as we could. And then we got to present the best one to the judges. That's terrifying. Like I, this level of pressure was was like I was almost a throw up level, and I ended up doing two lattes, and both were not good. Both times my like steam wand stuck, and so I over steamed my milk a little bit, over aerated, and so my foam quality was just not where it needed to be, I, and that was like really discouraging to me. But at the same time, I made it to the last round, so that was cool. But that was that was really discouraging, and and also kind of like got in my head a little bit. I ended up getting seventh place out of the seven in the last round. So that was a little discouraging, but I also know that like I want to do better in the future. And so this way I at least have a chance to go, go up, you know, you can't go, you, I mean, you can't go down, but you know, you can do better in the future. So it was very, very exciting. The whole experience was so much fun other than the pressure. And I just need to, I think the things that I really need to work on personally is to relax into it and to really, um, focus on my pores. Like, don't worry about anybody around me. That was so hard. There were so many people cheering for you and like screaming at you. That's a lot of pressure. And that was just really difficult. So it was a good time. And uh, now I'm like looking back at it like, oh my gosh, I'm so glad it's over. But now I'm going to do another one. So yeah. Well, there you have it. I made it to the third round and that is not something I expected to do. In fact, my goal was just to get past the first round. And so when that happened and it just kept going, I, I was very shocked. In fact, when I got to the third round, I was so nervous. I almost threw up and, and I hadn't eaten much that day. Um, and I didn't really know how to handle the pressure. I think I expected pressure, but I didn't know 
um, how to handle it once I got there. And so that's something I'm going to need to work on in the future as I continue to do throwdowns and continue to hone my skill as a barista in pressure and off pressure. Um, but it has been a really fun experience already. Uh, this this kind of experience gave me like a performance high, kind of like I do when I'm dancing in on like a stage show. So that was really exciting and I really enjoyed that. So if you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up so we know what you're enjoying. Also, if you have any stories about being a part of a latte art throwdown or maybe you I don't know, know somebody who did a latte art throwdown, feel free to give us some stories in the comments below. We'd love to hear about you, hear about you, hear about you and your friends or whatever, I don't care. Um, <laughs> 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 Subscribe too if you're new here because I might be making more videos about latte art throwdowns and my experiences and you can watch me grow through that, maybe turning it into a little series. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, please um, consider subscribing. We'd love to have you as a part of our fam nation. But that's all we have for you today. We'll talk to you real soon. Don't die, K-bye. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know. I've only filmed that 18 million times. Very, very